Hello, hello, good day, good evening, good evening everyone out there. Um, I'm super, super excited for you to be here right now. Uh, I'm gonna be real quick uh, tonight. So I just wanna share with you something real quick about my secret philosophy in Forex. Now, how do I, how, how do I really maximize my profit? How do I do the things I do? How, how do I come out trading profitable? And how do I manage my, my losses? How do I manage my losses? Now, first thing you have to know is that uh, whenever you want to get involved in anything, when you want to get involved in anything, you have to first of all know your strength. Know your strength. You have to first of all know your strength. You want to know where your strength lies. You want to know where you are comfortable at. Yes, it is important you know everything, but have a niche. Have where your strength, know where your strength lies. Now, when I started trading Forex, I noticed that um, I am more of a technical person than a fundamental person. I am more of the technical than the fundamental. I love doing the technicals and all and so on and so forth. So I said to myself, whatever I have to do to be on top as a technical trader, I need to do it. I need to get involved. Now, I personally, I look out for the possibilities of using technicals to where I really analyze the market. Now, I mostly use technicals. I mostly use technical. And my philosophy is simple. Instead of gathering a lot of trades out there, why not take one good trade at a time? I tried a lot of stuff in the market that really hurt me. At some point, I was able to now narrow all my attention to just one. I narrowed all my attention to just one. If I got this one trade, I can really make good profit. Now, one thing you have to understand in the financial markets, in the forex market, is that one good trade can give you the profit of 10 guess trade. I repeat, one good trade can give you the profit of 10 guess trade. Now, you want to be sure that, yes, this particular trade is good. I know, I trust all my uh, analysis and it is all right. You don't have to get a lot of trades and, and over leverage your account. I don't know how much accounts you have out there, but you do not want to over leverage your account. So many, so many people, they just come into the market, they want to make quick world. They want to make quick money. They, they just come in with a hundred dollar account, they are opening six, seven trades. All they feel is that you must have more openings to have more wins. It's not every trade in the market that you will take. It's not every trade that is out there that you are going to take. But you are going to take the quality ones. You're going to take the quality trades. It's better for you to take a quality trade than a quantity trade. Now, how do I know this? How do I know this? It's through the help of my coach and mentor, Mr. Mayowa Uolabi. That guy has taught me how to take quality trades instead of quantity trade. He taught me that you can re actually use one trade to make a fortune. Instead of opening lots and lots of trade over leveraging your account, you, all you have to do is just open a single trade, one good quality trade at a time. No, um, learn how to manage your account. Learn how to manage your profit. It is so it is important that you manage your account so that you don't get it blown. You don't get it blown. Forex is not a get rich quick scheme. So many people think they come on board and they just get rich quick. No, no, no. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not a get rich quick scheme. 
If you want to learn how to master the art of trading, you have to first of all take note of this. If you want to master the art of trading forex, you have to be disciplined enough to take one quality trade at a time. One quality trade, guys. You don't have to uh, open a lot of position for you to be a profitable trader. You don't have to open a, a lot of position before you become a profitable trader. Just one quality trade at a time, you can make you be a profitable trader. Can really help you to be to maximize your profit in the market without the help of anyone. Now you also know need to learn how to manage your emotions. Now emotions has a huge role to play in the forex market because your emotions controls your intellect and it actually controls your actions may let's take for instance you have lost a lot of trades for the day why not close your your trading platform and just go have a good time relax yourself and prepare for the next trading day but no you want to fight it you want to fight the market you want to fight the market you have done some wrong choices of trades yet you want to you want to fight the market no that doesn't work in forex you cannot fight back when you fight back you end up losing when you fight back you end up losing a lot of money now you want to protect your money now there are three rules in this game the first rule is to protect your money the second rule is not lose more no don't lose a lot of uh, money in this market the third rule is to protect your money if there is a fourth rule is also protect your money you want to be protecting your money at all time you want to be protecting your money at all time instead of you to lose more gain more instead of you to lose more gain more when you come into the market, you need to have a proper uh, sense of humor and concerning the market. You need to be prepared emotionally and physically. Your emotions need to be intact. I've talked about two keys already. The first key is one quality trade at a time. That's how I roll. I don't need to open all uh, my trading platform with a lot of trades like other people do to make money. I do one quality trade at a time, one quality trade guys, one quality trade and also learn how to manage your emotions, learn how to manage your emotions, your emotions can get you burnt. I have experienced it countless numbers of times where I allowed my emotions have the better side of me and I lost it, I paid daily for it. Guys, you want if you want to succeed as you you want to become a profitable trader or you want to be a pro trader, you need to note these two things. One quality trade at a time. Always manage your emotions. A good technical or a good strategy is not complete without managing a good management of your emotions, because your emotions has a very huge role to play on how you will use that strategy. The same strategy someone out there is using and to make money for themselves. Or some other person can use it and it won't work for them. Does that mean that strategy is not working? No. Does that mean that person that is saying is making money is lying? No. Does that mean that that person is a failure? No. All you have to know is that you need to know how to use the strategy. You need to be patient enough to know that Forex is more of waiting than trading. Forex is more of waiting than trading. You can just every now and then uh, enter open positions and expect uh, good returns. Just do one quality trade at a time. Instead of opening 10 trades, then why not open three quality trades that is going to give you the profit of 10 trades? Now, my millionaire coach and mentor, Mr. Mayowa, see what he does. This man looks for trades that he will risk less to gain more. 
Now, imagine somebody opening a trade of uh, 8% risk, 8, 8, 8 pips risk, to give you over 200 take profit. That's 8, 8, uh, 8 pips. Oh, okay, let's just say 10 pips to 200. That is a 1 to 20. That's a 1 by 20, guys. Your risk is very, very low. But your, the outcome of that trade is very high. So when you are taking such a trade, you will be very comfortable. You won't have to look at your trading platform every now and then. You don't have to look at your trading platform every now and then. Now, the third thing I want to talk about is, is that always use a strategy that works for you and wait for conditions to be met. There is a strategy that works for you, but always try and discipline yourself to wait for the conditions to be met. Don't trade forex with just one condition. Don't go into any position with just one condition, guys. Before you go into any position, you should have at least four confirmations, minimum. If you have more, fine. You should have at least four confirmations before you place a trade. You don't want to place a trade because one candle is telling you to buy. You don't want to place a trade because one candle is telling you to sell. Guys, that's not how it works. That's how it gets, people get burnt. Always wait for your conditions to be met before you trade Forex. Always wait for your conditions to be met before you open a position. Now, the fifth thing I want to talk about tonight is that you have to look at the higher time frames. Look at the big picture. Look at the big picture. Know the direction of the market. Look at the big picture. You need to look at the big picture of the market. How is the market? Where is the market moving towards? Is the market going up or is it coming down? You need to look at the big picture. You need to look at the big picture first before you go or think about applying any condition. You need to look at the big picture. How can I look at the big picture? Sometimes I start my analysis from weekly time frame. From weekly time frame. You first of all look at the weekly time frame. Where is the market going on the weekly time frame? Where is the market going on the monthly time frame? What is the where is the market going on the daily time frame? Now it helps why you have to look at it from the higher time frame is because it helps you take more high probability trades. You know, yes, the market is going the this direction. And when you go to the lower time frame, when you want to get the confirmation that this market is going this direction, you go in and you risk less. Yes, guys. You risk less when you are trading alongside with, or with the uh, market trend. Now, one of the secrets about this is that when you, when you uh, use the higher time frame to analyze, because forex in forex they say the trend is your friend the trend is either the upward or downward movement of the market if a higher time frame is telling you that this market is trending downwards if a higher time frame is telling you this market is trending downwards that is you have everything uh, you have all your mind set up for a sell you have all your mind set up for a sell now when you go to the lower time frame and you see uh, a buy sign you know that is a counter trend. So you don't have to trade that. You don't have to trade a counter trend. You don't have to trade a counter trend. So if you must be uh, successful in this business, you need to start looking at the big picture. You need to know the expected end of the market. Just by looking at the big picture, you know, yes, if uh, this thing is going down, it's going down for sure. But if I see in the smaller time frame that the market is trying to go up, that is a counter trend. Then you start applying your conditions. You start applying your conditions. Then when your conditions are met, you, st you, you trade. You don't just wake up in the morning and you just place a trade and you expect money to pop out. 
Sometimes money pops out. Other times, you get burned because you are not applying any rule. You are not looking at where the market or where the direction of the market is. All you have, all you do is just come in, you place a trade, you make money. No, that's not it. There you have rules. That's why when you see my videos on uh, technical analysis, you see I always go through a long process of looking at the higher time frame. Sometimes I start my mark, uh, my uh, analysis from the higher time frame because I want to know the direction of the market before I put in my money there. I want to know where my money is going into. So that is it. That is it, guys. That is it. And another philosophy I want to share with you tonight is that always hook up with people who are successful in this business. Hook up with people who are successful. Now, the other day, Mr. Mayo Olabi had a wonderful bootcamp meeting that really people made money from, from the session. Now, you want to be hooked up to a platform where you can make money even as you are sleeping. You want to hook up with people who are already successful in this business. You want to be you want to be hooked up to with people who don't just talk the talk, but they do the do they do whatever they tell you, or if there's something like they do the doors. Is there anything like they do the doors? But you want to follow these people who do what they say, and you see their result. Why did, I, why did I call Christopher Derrick my, my, my cousin? Because I have seen his results. I, have, I, I saw his results and I was like, wow, I need to do this. I really, really need to uh, hook up with this guy. I want to know his strategy. Because there is a result. That's why I decided to follow him. Because of the result. Because of the result. Now, that, but that particular strategy is a strategy that puts peeps, good numbers of peeps in my table each time I do it. And I can't stop using it. Whatever other strategy I'm applying is just an addition to it. It's just an addition. So I would advise whoever, no matter who you are, you need to be hooked up to a source. What is your source? Who is your source? Who is feeding you? Who is your source? Who are you listening to? Who are you hooked up to? I am hooked up to a man that is doing over $10,000 every single month. Now, when I post my results, you're like, wow, it's not Photoshop. It's real. It's as real as, as real as real. I wish I can have someone that will say, okay, yes, I have a strategy that works and I want to challenge your own strategy. Fine, I, I, I will accept the challenge. And let's get to work. Stop posting results that are impossible. Like I said, this is my philosophy of trading Forex. Number one, one good trade at a time. One good trade at a time. You don't want to pay, open a lot of positions that really, really, really don't have any effect or that is going to risk or over leverage your account. One good trade at a time. And the second point I talked about is, uh, is um, I also talked about you having a good system. Manage your emotions. That's the second point I talked about. Managing your emotions. You, want, you need to put your emotion in check. There is no good strategy that will work for you without you having the right set of mind frame to use it. Like I told you before, Forex is more of waiting. You need to wait for your conditions to be met. You need to wait for your conditions to be met. You don't want to just throw in your money. And I also talk to, uh, told you about waiting for uh, looking at the higher time frame. You need to look at the higher time frame before you go put your money. I also talked about you using a strategy that works for you. I use price trap strategy. I use uh, 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 the harmonic patterns as well. Combine it with price trap, with my millionaire coach and mentor Ozia strategy. I use all of them as a condition. Don't trade just one condition. I told you before. Don't trade one condition. Always have a good number, like minimum of four conditions before you place it. Open a position. That's it, guys. That's it. 
and you also want to hook up with some uh, someone who is doing well in this platform who is doing well in this business hook up with someone who is doing well in the business that is how to succeed as a as a trader that is how to succeed guys that is really really how to succeed if you i also want to encourage you uh, tonight, uh, my my millionaire coach and mentor, Mr. Mayowa Olabi, and the entire Profits Arcade leadership team are going to be live that way, uh, to share how you can maximize your profit in the financial markets using tools that simplify uh, the forex, the tools that have simplified trading forex. So if you are interested of on hooking up with in that class, you can send me a DM or, or drop your number on the chat box. I'm going to contact you, give you access to that class tonight. It's happening in less than three hours, guys. In less than three hours, that meeting is going to kick off on Zoom. If you want to hook up in that meeting, how I would I would be very happy and pleased to give you grant you access into that class. Guys, it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you everyone for listening. Thank you for uh, bringing out time to get the philosophy that I use in trading forex. Everyone has his own, his or her own uh, philosophy, but this is what I use that works for me. It really works for me, and I hope when you come on board, when you start trading forex and you start uh, taking note of uh, the things that really works for you, you have a strategy or a philosophy that really works out good for you thank you for your time thank you i really appreciate you for joining me on this live call right now i celebrate each and every one of you i want to say every one of you will be a profitable trader in a short while thank you